our King Brothers uh, Summer Glam, uh, Summer Glam uh, Night. I'm burning up in here, y'all. <laughs> I am burning up. Oh, my God. Hey, JoJo. How you doing? Hello. I'm fine. I want to welcome everyone. I want to welcome my sister, uh, Director Sonia. Thank you so much for coming. And Audrey, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And tonight we're going to be talking about our summer glam. I'm not going to be long. I'm hoping to be out of here in at least about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And we're just going to talk about some products that you can do to have to have your have your makeup popping in the summertime and do just a quick, quick look with some of our summer products. Because as you know, we just getting ready to launch our fall products. But I thought it would be good to just showcase some of the summer products as well. So I want to just welcome everyone uh, to our Kingdom Builders at night. And uh, thank you so much for coming. And um, the first thing I was wanting to do tonight is I'm going to introduce you all to our our new uh, new TimeWise 3D. If you went to seminar, you got you you were able to get this uh, get this uh, get this new formula. It's new and improved. And you all, I have been I've been using this, and I absolutely absolutely love it have anybody else tried it what are your thoughts i don't have it yet go ahead miss josie i said i don't have it yet you don't have it yet sis no i haven't tried it you haven't <laughs> okay. I, I, I you know i wanted to see what it do first before i introduce it uh introduce it uh to um to to my customers so i like to always try it first have you tried it sonia i have i actually just so i got one at seminar but i'm uh -huh. a little different i use um combination oily cleanser and normal dry moisturizer okay and so when i got my buzz kit for those of uh -huh. you who don't know what a buzz kit is be a director let me just tell you when I got my buzz kit and we got both formulas in our buzz kit, that allowed me to try both formulas. And so far I'm loving yeah. it because I was an original Miracle Set user uh -huh. and I loved the night solution with the beads in it. And so I am just in love, in love with it. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah. Great. And, and I've been using the combination of oily. I haven't tried the normal to dry yet. I, I got my buzz kit and I opened it up, but I have not tried it. I thought, so um, I'm excited to see what the normal to dry do because my skin has took a, since I turned 50, I'm 52, but since I got in my 50s, my skin started getting dry after 20. If you all don't know, I got COVID back in 2020. So I deal with a lot of dry skin now since COVID. So um, I'm excited. Um, this is the one that my Aunt Mary, or my late Aunt Mary loved this and fell in love with this. So uh, I was kind of nervous about bringing them, bringing it back because I'm, you know, like people just now started, I just now started getting my customers to love the night cream and the day cream. So I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? But anyway, no more, no more jab, no more jabbering about it, y'all. First thing I'm going to do is I got to take off because I did have a little bit of makeup on today. So I'm going to take off my makeup. We have a new and, a, and improved eye makeup remover you all i absolutely do love this new and improved eye makeup remover um to me it feels more nourishing uh, as you all know you all see i use this a lot right and when i when i did them side by side one eye a piece i felt like the the new one had a little bit more nourishing in it to me have anybody else feel the same way that's tried it already it feels thinner for sure. You, it feels thinner. I felt like my eye was more softer when I tried. When I tried. <laughs> uh, when I tried it. I don't know. It could have just been me because, like I said, I go through a lot of dry skin now. But um, I feel like it's gonna be great. I did like how it removed all that. Uh, we have new pencils and lip liners, and it just took it off all off with one wipe. So I did like that. And like they said, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just new and improved. So everything is going to be upgraded. And um, we do have the bundles. I did notice that the bundles are different colors now. Have anybody noticed that beside me? 
I think Nia was the one that noticed that they were different colors. Because we normally had a just one one they look bigger and they're normally uh normally was just um uh one color. I think they were pink. These are all different colors. So mm. I'm gonna take off my makeup real quick and then we're just gonna uh do a quick look and go tell us and, and, and tell you some things that you may be able to use to get your skin glowing in the summertime. Do anybody anybody deal with dullness like I do sometimes? Uh, dullness in, on your skin. I know I've seen some of your pictures, Sonia, of your before and after with the uh, with the time wise, um, time wise uh, 3D. So, um, and everybody help me. Uh, Nia, Nia help, said yes. help me with Nia said yes. Oh, okay, help me with the chat, y'all. She said yes. Okay, thank you, baby. So, right now, I'm just gonna take off the take off this little bit. I didn't have a whole lot of makeup on. Where's my mirror? Just had my mirror because sometimes it's it, it it messes me up when I'm on the computer. I don't know about anybody else, but I like how yeah. you could just it's the same thing how you just lay it on and just and you just you don't have to tug but just wipe it off. So y'all know I got an eye disease, so try not to mess up this contact lens. Are those washables as well? Yes, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something that I okay. Saw. So yeah, so these the old yeah that you can stick them in the washer, but I'm gonna show y'all a trick that I that I that I thought was nice. Um, I'm use my micellar water. That's another way to get your skin glowing. Uh, for the summer, is this micellar? I think that's is that right? Is that pronounced right? Micellar or micellar? Um, <laughs> I think micellar. 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 Yeah, I like I like using both of these because it breaks down breaks down the makeup, but it also helps you in between the uh, summertime when you're hot. If I don't know what your weather is like right now, but ours is like done got to like a hundred and like a hundred degrees, but mm -hmm. it feels like hundred and ten. Um, and we you know we went we've been in Dallas and we've been in Dallas and it wasn't that hot to me. And Louisiana wasn't that hot, and come back and down, it's like whoo, takes your breath like away. <laughs> but mm. she said hers <laughs> and the brass is one hundred and ten. Oh my god! Like really? Index. Oh wow! Is it's that the hot. index or is that the yeah, temperature? index? Index. Oh my That's goodness. the heat index. Yeah, we're under a, a heat warning yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I think ours was 106. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, we got we we got a heat wave all week. Yeah, a heat wave all week. Listen, I was weird. just in Miami yesterday and it wasn't that hot. <laughs> oh wow. I saw you've been traveling, sis. It's only 83 in Cleveland. Oh, oh look at you. Are you bragging. <laughs> look at you, RB bragging. Go on there. How you been doing? I saw you in a minute. Okay, so <laughs> this right here, the the micellar wa water and and the uh, eye makeup remover is a great way to get your skin ready for your makeup glow, and it can help you have that glow in between. Uh, you know, I always say skincare is the first step to having uh, glowing skin. It's uh, glowing makeup or anything. If your skin is if your skin is a is a one, your uh, makeup is not going to be a ten. Uh, contrary to what they say. Now look at this, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this how good this uh, eye makeup remover is. Okay, this y'all see all that dirt and grime. I tried this the other night because I always like to see. And I just scrubbed it. Y'all see how it's getting that clean? Oh wow! And that's just the eye makeup remover getting the the pad clean. Normally, I would have to put this in hot water. Uh, I would have to put that in hot water to get that uh to get it like nice and white again. And you can drop the whole bag down into the uh to your washer machine. I've never done that yet, but I know you can do that. But that's how clean this is. Is that makeup that. remover you put on the on that pad? Yeah, the new eye eye makeup remover. 
Okay. And it clean it it's good it it took off all that makeup and gook. So that's these are the two these are two secrets right here to getting that glowy skin is you want to make sure that you're getting off any makeup that you have on um that you have on the uh in during the day, especially if you're going from day to night or night to day. Now, one thing I love is that sometimes I don't know about y'all, I'm be I'm be honest, I get a little lazy sometimes and I'm trying my best to do my skincare every night, y'all. I've been really faithful. I I'm really being faithful to this. Uh I've really been faithful, but there's some nice ivory. I get this micellar water. <laughs> I get this micellar water. I put it on my face and I put some. Good thing ain't no me. customers on here hearing you yeah, say. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm, look, I'm just, I'm just being honest now. Y'all know, y'all know. Sometimes the pro have do a little cut in the corners, but I don't do it every night. But I have been so tired that I have used this and just clean my face. Now I know it's not a good practice, so I'm not saying to replace your skincare with this, okay? But I have done this, and so this is gonna be good. Uh, for your youngins too. So like um, even right now with school, with it being so hot, it may be a good idea to stick your, uh, get, put this in your child's backpack if you got children and let them have that micellar water in a little pad. So if they get hot or something, they can use this on their skin and, and, and cool off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we call our, our double dual, a uh, double power dual thing. Y'all know I'm making up stuff, but <laughs> but so that's one way that you can have glowing skin so the next thing you want to do is you want to have a good skincare regimen so i'm gonna try uh this time wise uh 3d in front of everybody tonight um we can order it on the 26th but they won't release it to the public until the 13th which is our 60th anniversary uh, but they want a uh, release until the uh, until the uh, 13th of September. So what I'd say is go ahead and, and start practicing how it's going to be, and so you can uh, you can uh, hype it up a little bit, and then I'll, I'll, I'm I'm going to do me some pre sale. And I don't know about you, I'm gonna get me some pre sales going uh, because I need to get something going. I've been sick for a couple of weeks since a seminar. I, I took a, I had end up getting a viral infection. Uh, so I've got to I've got to get moving. So the first thing they have is this cleanser, four in one cleanser, and um, look big. It's very big, y'all. Y'all can tell I've been using mine. Look at this. <laughs> I'm falling yeah. back in love with the Time Wise 3D, y'all. It's not that I didn't love it, but I had switched to Time Wise Repair. Cause I'm trying to, you know, I'm 52, so I'm trying to get my skin back right. But they, they don't got me where I'm. I'll be using this for a little bit longer. But um, I love that it has the 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 combination. The oily is gonna have those little Nutri Bees inside there as well. I don't have all the facts on this like I normally is because we cause we gonna get to the we'll get to the, the makeup part. Um. Yeah, so it said it's a cleanse, uh, refreshes, exfoliates, brightens, and prepares skin for the benefits of your next skincare steps. Then you're going to hydrate. You got the day defender and the nighttime recovery uh, that works overnight. So it's basically going back to what we used to have is what it is doing. Um, I know they said we had graduated, so... Um, if you got some of your older ones, uh, you can still push those, y'all, because it's still good, 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 good. It's not saying that there's not anything wrong with it. It's just that they decided to go back uh, to, I don't know. I don't know why we decided to go back, um, but I believe it's going to be a good fit. Can y'all see how clean my face? Can y'all see that? So this is definitely going to get your skin ready to glow you have to have good skincare in order for your face to be radiant and glowing it feels so uh great i really i really have fallen in love with this now everybody know i'm ocd right so i'm gonna tell y'all a little trick i've been doing for my nighttime and my my nighttime because i'm i am ocd and i sometimes it's something feels kind of too um what you call it too gooey 
or I guess it's the word, I can't take it. So I, I have a little OCD going. So what I've been doing to help my <laughs> help me get past that. Geez, which my no, that's the day. So, uh, this day defender, y'all. I love that day day defender. Have you tried the day defender? The defender. Um, I love the day defender. I feel like I just opened it up as we was talking. It's not greasy at all. You know, the last day, the day radiance that we used to have had a little bit of a grease to it. There was a, a complaint that I had from some of my customers that they felt like it was a little greasy. This the the defender do not have any type of grease in it. Now, what I've been doing because of the way um, I am with my, how things feel. Now, and you can lock the, tap, the top back, so you won't lose anything from that either. You can lock that top back, which is going to help you keep a lot of your product. I have, You know, have, have they said that this is going to still be $120 or $115? I haven't saw the price yet. I thought it was gonna be a hundred and ten. I think didn't it go up to hundred and twenty? The the old one did. Now this is something I've been doing. This is Catherine, y'all. I've been taking my antioxidant moisturizer hydrator, which you would do this second after you cleanse. I've been mixing mine together at for the nighttime. Just because um it just helps me with that with that with the consistency of how it feels. Um because if it feels some kind of way, I'm not going to use it. So um, so this is Catherineology. It's not not what <laughs> Mary Caitlin said. This is Catherineology. But I have to, I'm, 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 I came out foot first, y'all, so I always try to make things work the way it works. So that's just Catherine. Um, so the book says, Time Wise Miracle Set, the new one, 116. Uh -huh. You get the four-piece set, the cleanser, the moisturizer, the day, and the night for 116. Oh. And then the eye, um, if you add in the eye part, then it's 150. So it's actually mm -hmm. going to be a little cheaper without the eye cream, because I'm going to still use the eye cream. I feel like you need an eye cream. Um, but this is what I've been doing, y'all. It just helps me with my moisture, helps me just, and it feels really, really good. I feel like this is going to be a great hit, uh, honestly. But can y'all see how bright and glowing my skin look just uh, with just skincare? So that's the one way to get your skin uh, glowy and summer ready is to make sure that you are using your skincare. And so I wanted to introduce this to some because I know everybody haven't seen it. Um, if you went to seminar... They did give us one, and like like Sonya said, we got our buzz kit, and we got they gave us the so if you got I got a normal to dry, I got a normal to dry, and I got the cleanser and the moisturizer that was the combination of oil. Is that what you did too? Yeah. And I don't know how they knew I had got combination of oily, but they somehow <laughs> I don't know if everybody got that or not. So the first step to just getting your skin um glowy is that you want to make sure that you are doing your skincare um and if you do get a little lazy like i did sometimes make sure you're using that micellar water another thing that you can do that's going to help you with your with the uh, with your under eye is you can um do your hydrogel eye package i'm not going to do these tonight but um, these are my these are just my favorite. I love these hydrogel eye patches. I call them look petals for the eye. And you want to um, you can do these at least two to three times a week. Um, but you want to make sure you put these up under your eyes. Uh, I'm I've been seeing a lot of the uh, not a lot of the uh, makeup artists are starting to use some type of hydrogel eye patches. I don't know. They may not be using Mary Kay, but they are using this as a luxury when they're getting their brides ready uh, for their weddings. They're putting some type of hydrogel eye patch up under their eyes to make sure that they're doing this before they get their makeup done. So this is another way to get your skin glowing is, is you want to have your hydrogel eye patches. And then another thing is that if you're like me, you have a personal summer. 
uh, these little blo uh, um, uh, blotters, beauty blotters, is very good for absorbing the oil. So you can just take this and press, press. Um, you, you can just take this and press your press, like when you put your makeup on and you want to make sure your skin, make your skin still feel kind of glowy and you're sweating. You just want to take this and just uh, press and get that extra oil off your face. And that will help. Even if you're putting on your, like your cleansers and moisturizing, you feel like it's feeling just a little bit too greasy. You can do these uh, blotters. Uh, do anybody use these? Yes. I use them every once in a while. I don't like use them all the time, but this is something that you would you would want to keep in your bag for like if you want to just keep your makeup doing good and everything. And then the next thing uh to make your skin uh uh make your makeup glowy is uh you want to make sure that you're using a, a finishing spray. Uh I love my finishing spray. I use this all the time. Um Okay, Sonia, thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for jumping on. Okay. And so the next thing you want to do is your uh you want to do your um your um your finishing spray. A lot of people use this. This is one of the things that the makeup artists use a lot is the finishing spray. And what I normally do is I always uh I like to do mine before I put on my foundation. I don't know if anybody else do that, but this is something I always do. I take you it. You putting it on at night after you after you didn't clean your face. Oh, really? I've never done it then. That's what you're doing now. But yeah, I'm going to put some makeup on though. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm going to put just a little bit on. I thought on. you were just doing the cleanser and then... Okay. I'm just gonna show a, cute, a quick look. It's not gonna be very fast. It's gonna be very fast, honestly. I promise. Oh, okay. You. Yeah, but <laughs> I normally put this on, and um, it just helps me because sometimes I have. You hot put it on before and after you put your makeup on. That's what I do because it just helps everything stay, stay in put for me. And I, I've, I've gotten this from watching uh, Juliana Mayfield and a lot of the other makeup artists. They spritz themselves down with this. I mean, they put this on like so, so many, every application they put this on. And another thing uh, that you can do is you can do your foundation primer. Foundation primer is going to make sure that you, um, it's going to make your skin stay uh, 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 dewy or, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's going to moisturize your skin, but it's also going to keep your makeup from, uh, from creasing. So I always uh, put this on to make my skin have that little glow and it has that, it's, it's that iridescent uh, feel to it. And I put that on just to um, give my skin that extra glow. Some people like to take their brush and put it on. I, I do that sometimes too. I do sometimes put it on my brush and apply it that way as well. But that's a way to keep your makeup looking flawless as well. Um, and another thing is that um, masking is a good, a good, a good uh, th way to also to keep your skin, uh, keep your makeup from being uh, dulling. Because if you don't mask and get all the exfoliate your skin and get all the uh, uh, detoxify your skin, then your makeup is going to start caking on you because it's going to uh, because all the toxins and things are pollution in your in your uh, skin so i normally if i have if i'm feeling like if i feel like i need a um something that, that my skin is dull i use the pink clay mask um and and if i need a, a just a, a detoxant i use the uh charcoal mask i love both of them um some people uh kind of do uh, put put the charcoal mask in in the areas that they just need to detoxify, which is normally your T-zone. And then some people put the put this one on their dry spots. You can do this again, do this too to make a have your skin radiant. And another thing is that you can use your translucent powder. Uh, translucent powder is another way to keep your uh, makeup uh, flawless and also make it uh, make it uh, mattify it, but also make it stay on. Uh, when I uh, when I was in makeup school, 
they use the translucent powder on every application. Every time they would do a, uh, they would do a do an application, they would use the translucent uh, powder, and that kept that helped make your uh, makeup stay on. Um, so you can um use this um use this. It's a brand new one here, and I like this because it's it's uh it, it's for every color. It doesn't matter what color you are. You can um put this on your skin and you just want to just pat it in and I like to press it in my skin just to make sure that it's um doing what it needs to do especially on my eyes and uh color spots and things like that I'm moving kind of fast y'all hope I'm not going too fast um and a lot of uh not a uh, and uh, uh, I also like to use my under eye under eye corrector, and also I like to use my concealer. My under eye corrector is just to get a, get some uh, like if I have some dry spots that just need some help, I just put that under eye corrector on. Um, I don't put I don't put a lot of this on because sometimes. I like to put this up under my eye, but then I put my makeup on top of it to kind of blend it a little bit. So I normally just keep a little bit up under my eye. So that's that's sometimes and then I do sometimes put it up under my chin because I do have those have those little dry spots that's up under my chin. Tonight I'm gonna use um you can use a sponge if you want to, but I'm gonna use I love this brush here. I knew this was the one that they had when you uh a special edition and so I just kind of and it's gonna cancel this is gonna cancel any uh darkness or you know dark spots up under your uh eyes And I'm not trying, I'm not making it perfect right now because I know I'm going to come back with my makeup to my uh, CC cream is what I'm going to use tonight. So this is going to cancel out any darkness, any like trouble spots that I have that's super dark. I also like to use my concealer, but I use my concealer mostly as a concealer, but also Oh, as a highlighter, I use my um. First, I got brand new ones. If you have any questions, just let me know here. I like to put some on my chin. Have a little discoloration it's very good for um to conceal and also to highlight so what i like to do is i like to um wet my wet my uh brush i wet my brush to put it to um press this in a little bit Then I like to set, I like to set, if I do any concealing, I like to set, I sometimes set with the regular um, setting powder, setting silky powder, but tonight I'm going to set it with our translucent powder. The 
if you want to want it to also you can use your CC cream or you can use uh time wise 3D. I use W130. I love time wise 3D. I love my MAC foundations. But tonight, because we're talking about summer glow, um CC cream is a great one because you don't have to really it color corrects as well. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to match, match. You like this is something, especially on your new consult, uh, like your new uh, customers. If you're not really good at matching, I would say go to your CC creams because it's going to be light, you know, light, light, medium or dark. And so that way you're going to be able to match, match them uh, very well. And then you can switch over to the, um, switch over to, um, to your, um, your matte foundations and you can take a have them take a test uh there's a there's a foundation uh chart that you can send them and, it, and it'll let you know what you can uh intel and match them with so i use the stippling motion for my uh foundation And if you've taken your um if you've taken your um your your um quizzes, it'll tell you when you're on your foundation you want to start like in the center of your face and come down. You want to bring your foundation down that way because sometimes you know women sometimes we have those hairs and things, and so you want to come down so it's it's putting those hairs down and not making that um not making them be so visible. So I stipple first, and then I take my brush and I kind of do the circular motion. I also like the blending brush. Which one do you like the best, the blending brush, or do you do a, what do you use for your foundation, Audrey? The liquid foundation brush and the um and the sponge under. Oh, okay. Yeah, I use my sponge, uh, but I, I don't use that. Uh, since I've been using this blending brush, this is one of my favorite go-tos. I don't hardly use my sponge like I used to. And I normally just take the brush to kind of just go over everything and smooth everything down. And I go all the way like into my hairline so it won't make me look like I got my face like look like a clown. Some people go all the way down to their de decollete. I do sometimes. Depends de on the, down here. Some people go all the way down. It depends. I have like a little discoloration sometimes. So I do sometimes go down, uh, go down to my decollete. Then after I get through with my foundation again, I'm going to spritz my face one more time. Don't let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna touch up my brows because they I had them on today, so they don't look too bad. Mm -hmm. I like using our our lip up uh, our lip liner, but we got new lip liners coming. And I think they're going to do away with this dark chocolate. So I'll probably be having to use the pencils a little bit more. Which I like the pencils, but I just kind of like this lip liner a whole lot better. I tried the, I tried the new lip liner and it does, you can do it, but it just, it's a brown. It's a true brown. It's not going to be dark. Sometimes I, 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 I would take my uh, concealer and go back over my brow just to make sure I haven't had, didn't have any issues or anything. So, yes. I got it. Why you take your eyebrows all the way down to your, to the corner of your eye? Why you, is that just something you like to do? You something take it I all the like, way down to the corner of your eye? I like to do. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just curious. I be watching everybody, 
trying to get them right. You see how you how you measure right here from your okay from your, from your nose to there. Okay. So you're supposed to stop or stop right there. Okay. Gotcha. So that's the reason why I do mine. And I kind of know where mine. I know I I know where mine ends at because I mine my I have I don't have perfect eyebrows, but I kind of know that I don't have to go too far. I don't go too much further down than okay. Right I got there. you. Mm -hmm. And I guess mine's be too short then, because I be stopping way up here. <laughs> it depends on, but it, it it may depend on you too. Well, you know when you measure, because everybody's face is shaped different. So you know if you it. Yeah, see, yeah, you can stop right there, Audrey. Yeah, you can stop right there. You don't have to go all the way down. My face is just, just the way my face is shaped. See there? Mm -hmm. You're muted. <laughs> I'm going to check that out the next time I do them. Okay, okay. okay. I, 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 you, uh, you, I, you, you, they look good to me when I see you with your makeup on, but like I said, it depends on you want to take your, take the tip of your nose, and you want to wherever that stop at, and then the arch, you go right here from your pupil to there, and your arch, you just go like and where that mark is at, mm -hmm. that's where that arch is gonna come down, and then you're gonna bring it like right there. So that's where mine end at. Okay, got you. Uh -huh. See, learn something every night. <laughs> That's why I do that. And I'm right. I'm gonna use these out. I don't know. See, these are limited edition, but I do still have these. So I'm gonna. Use I do too. Tonight. Um, I didn't really sell a lot of them. To be honest though, did you sell a lot of them? I didn't sell a lot of them. Um, I need some of them. Them are pretty. I'm hoping that. I can still I still got quite a bit left, man. I'm, I'm you, got a, you got something like that, cat? Uh huh. I, I like them. I probably can I can do some work with that. <laughs> yeah, I got some. I like that. Now I like these liquid I this I like is them I, too. I put this on first. This is like I used to use primer, like eye primer, but when they came out with these and they already got the primer in them. I don't want to use eye primer like I used to. Mm. Uh, I, I, I didn't do. like the eye primer though. You didn't. Mm -mm. I never thought that it had, it didn't really adhere to my eye like I wanted it to. But I always like to use this pink starlight. This is like one of my go to. Is this pink starlight? Really don't need no more. Oh, we do that. One. I love this one. This is my favorite. I'm using the uh the the crease brush tonight. That's a good looking look right there. Al. You need a little blush and lip there. You done. Yeah, that's a that's an everyday look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I this love eye, makeup. This eye right here, my this eye right here. Um, when I got older, I got a mole on this eye, kind of like, so I have to play with this eye. <laughs> Nia says she got to oh, go. Good night. Good night, Nia. Love you, sweetie. I got three more minutes on my, uh, three more. I got to put my phone on, I told you. Oh, we about done, honey. All right. All you need is some, uh, bl a little blush. You gonna use you gonna use that as a blush? I like to put I I like this color right here, so I'm gonna put this at the top of mine. Oh, this I don't be the, um you be putting a lot of people. Josie, like yeah. girl, look, you better put that liquid eyeliner on there. I I, I had mine on there and it, call it a day. I had too much blush on Saturday. I know when I had last week. Josie, you were blushed down, girl. I knew I, I was putting it on in the car. I was like, I ain't taking said, it off. Lori because... said, Josie had her blush from the from her cheek all the way up to her eye. <laughs> you know what I put? That was the mess. That was because of a my uh my bronze makeup made me. I didn't really need that much blush, but when I put it on, I couldn't really tell because I was doing it in the back of the seat of the car. Mm -hmm. I said, Oh, I think I got too That's much. That's all on. I'm gonna do for that, and then. 
Um, my lip tonight. We do have some new put pencils. The red on. You put uh, you putting a pencil. I, have y'all tried? Uh, I don't know. Have y'all tried this shit? What? We, got, we got a blue eyeliner. Girl, oh, I can't no. wait to get it because I got some blue mascara. I love. Oh, I do. I've been, I've been be using sharp. this blue. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna show have to put this blue on y'all. This is blue is one of my favorites. I never like. I don't put eyeliner on no more. I used to not, but I love it now. I still do. I don't know. Somebody since my eye when my eye came out of. Um, what, 1% on my phone? Yeah. They said I ain't have one, though. Let's see. Is, see that blue? Can you oh, see? that's pretty. And this is waterproof as well? Waterproof. Waterproof. And I like to put a little, just a little bit on my eyes. I like to, I don't make a wing, but these, these glide on so easy that if you if you like a wing, you can make a wing real easy. So I probably put that blue on and some blue lip liner. <laughs> put some yeah, I, gotta, I have an eye disease, so I normally be very careful. But Walgreens got um blue mascara. Really? Oh wow. And see, this is yeah, what I green would, too. This is what I do. This is mm -hmm. what I do, y'all, to make it look like I got mascara. And burgundy. burgundy. Oh wow. This is my. Are oh, you doing it on your eyelashes? Yeah, because sometimes I I have eye disease, and sometimes my uh, my eyes water a lot. So since this is waterproof, I've I've been putting it on my eyelashes. You put it on your eyeliner, and now you putting it on your eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they say make it work. It just keeps me from, uh, I don't really, I may put some mascara on, I may not. Well, you just put the blue on there, didn't you? Yeah, so I probably won't put no mascara. I'm making this to be my mascara tonight. Yeah, the blue is your mascara. Mm -hmm. That's cute. And then, this is my last little tip, this last little, oh, we got the new eyes. Lip. Yeah, we got a new lip. I mean, line. your lips. Yeah, we got some new lip line. We got new about six or seven new lip liners. Oh. Which oh. new lip gloss do you like? Yeah. Um, I'm a berry girl. <laughs> I'm gonna try this new lip liner. This new new lip liner, and then I'm gonna put a berry on top of it. And I, you know, I've been sick, so y'all. I've learned something that how to make your lips look a little bigger because I have problems with my lip. My lip is small. Make them pop. Yeah, they said to take this. I learned this from a, a, another sales director. Uh, she said to take that lip and go up to make it look like it's fuller. <laughs> I love these, y'all. These, y'all gonna love. They glide on really great, and they feel really matte. They feel really matte. So I'm gonna. You can take these look these and make lips a uh, lip gloss if you want to too. But I'm gonna take this burgundy. I make what on, lip gloss? These lip and cream. These cream. These uh. These are lip glosses and blushes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I put these on my eyes too. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of this mob, this uh, lip gloss, and do an ombre, as they call it. Uh huh. And you just have to put that in the inner, in the inner. Right, the ombre look. Okay. 
okay. Mm. All right, Kathy. <laughs> I'm going to do a Catherine. little. I'm a, oh, girl, don't do that. That's what they used to call them. Mm -mm. That's that old. That's your thing. government name. It's Catherine. I, Mama says Catherine. I says Catherine. Mama knows best. A uh, happy birthday to our dad. Today is our dad's birthday. Happy he birthday passed, to passed you. Away. He's passed away. But I always honor him. Uh oh, Joseph. Now, what color is that blush? This that berry. That berry. Mm. Uh, it's a uh, spice berry. Okay. Uh -oh. That's I'm how I put too much on. I'm going to have to help this out. I'm going to show you how to help it out when you put too much on. Take your foundation and I just took the foundation like... to kind of make that not be so red. I need that um, brush right there. I don't got that brush. You talking about out of this? This what you using? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like I just like to put the little roses in the cheek as the, my pastor used to say. Oh no, she's pulling. I always told her to keep the roses in her cheeks. And my last uh thing that I'm doing to to just make this bring this back over, y'all bring it back again. I do my little spray one more time. You gotta take it off. <laughs> Girl, I'm gonna go sit in the now she she said she might just go on and go to bed. No, she gonna wait till she gonna probably. I'm gonna clean it. My face is not. I got too much on. No, I'm gonna clean it. So okay. this is how this is how you make your makeup summer glow popping, and that's it. All right, then, Miss Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you say that, Audrey, but <laughs> don't say that because nobody else is on the line. Otherwise, I would. It's funny. It's fine. I'm fine. Mama will get a kick out of it. But this is my summer look. Which in which a new um you yeah, Bob. See, yeah, they. Oh yeah, I see. Are, I, I see them. I, these are the all star. I know the all star earrings and your bracelet on your. Oh wrist. yeah! Oh my god, girl! Oh. Did you get I, the bracelet look, last month? I I got one, two, three, four, y'all. So I this is how you, you, you keep your skin looking uh popping, and it don't take very long to do. Um. And some of the selling things that I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing some bundles. So that's how I'm going to uh, work on getting me some sales this month. Uh, ATM came up with the with the bundles for our for the uh, pencils. So that's the one of the things I'm going to do. So um, that's all we got for tonight, you all. Thank all you right, all. then. Uh, Thank you for coming, uh, Audrey. I appreciate you so much. You're more than welcome. Y'all have all a wonderful right. night. And... Um, I'm going to go in here and look at my husband. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye-bye.